thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Um, <laughs> welcome to Math with Me. This lesson is about the properties of laws or logarithms, if you want to say it the long way. Um, like I like to say, take out a sheet of paper, follow along with me um, as you go through this lesson. Okay? Um, logs are weird. I said this in the last video in the introduction to logs. So you could just stay with me. We're on a journey and we're on it together. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. About the properties of logs or logarithms, if you want to say it, the long. Properties of a logs. Okay. Um, logs and exponents have similar properties. This is very important for you to know, okay? Um, because a lot of them will kind of just be like in reverse to each other. So knowledge is helpful when I relate it to something that's already there. So something that's already in your brain, if I relate something new to something that's already there, you're more likely to like stick to it. So what you know already is a to the power of m times a to the power of n equals a to the m plus n. This is an exponent rule. Throw back to like eighth grade and then ninth grade and then also like 11th grade. Um, all of these all those times you should have learned uh, properties of exponents. So when you're talking about logs, basically, if I have log base a m times n, then I can split that up to be log base a m plus log base a n. Okay, you see how I just broke that apart? You see how the m n and then it comes, uh huh, maybe. <laughs> we'll get there. So the log of a product is equal to the sum of the log of its factors. All right. Uh, what does that mean like practically? So that's the rule up there at the top, which you already know. So I'm going to give you an, a quick example here before we get into it. So I have log base 3 of 1,000, right? 1,000 is the same thing as 10 times 100. 10 times 100 equals 1,000, right? So what I know is that I can separate that to be log base 3 of 10 plus log base 3 of 100. I could have done like 1,000 is 2 times 500. I could have done log base 3 of 2 and then log base 3 of 500. Also, whatever its factors are, I could break apart 1,000 however I wanted to, okay? 250 and four, also would work. Whew. All right, properties of log. So example numero uno. So I have log base six of four and then log base six of nine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I know that when they're separated like that, I can put them together, right? So I can say log base six of four times nine. You see what I, what I did there, okay? Because they're both base sixes, I can gather them together. If one was a base six and one was a base five, I couldn't do it. But because it's all about that base, this is probably the fourth time I made that joke now <laughs> in these uh, base videos. Um, you can put them together, okay? So then what's gonna happen is I have log base six of 36. Now, I, I gotta figure out what the answer to that is. So you're probably like, I don't know, that don't make no sense to me. But you do know, the answer is two. But why is the answer two? The answer is two because when I do the little loop-de-loop, -loop, if you've watched my two previous videos, or one previous video, um, when you do the loop-de-loop, -loop, what you're asking yourself is six to what power equals 36, right? It's off there to the side for you. Six to what power equals 36? Well, it equals two, okay? Because remember, logs are trying to get that exponent. The answer to a log is an exponent, okay? So six to what power equals 36? Two. So now that you know that, the rest of this is going to be a breeze. Easy breezy lemons, easy peasy lemon squeezy, like I like to say in class, okay? So I have log base 5, 625, plus log base 5, 25. All right, so I'm going to gather them together. So I'm going to get log base 5 of 625 times 25. That's going to be a big old number, but that's all right. Log base 5, 15, 625, okay? So the question that you need to ask yourself is 5 to what power equals 15, 6, 25, right? So you do a little, little guess and check in your calculator, five to the fifth power, five to the sixth power, five to the seventh power, five to the uh, second power, you know that's 25, so obviously that's not gonna work, but anyway, the answer is six. Five question mark equals 15, 6, 25. So I'm teaching you to reshape the question in your head. Like I know you're looking at it and you're like, oh, this log, it's a whole word like in my math problem, what do I do with words in my math problem? Um, so you're reshaping the question, five to what power equals 15, 6, 25, because you know that the answer to a logarithm has to be an exponent, okay? Because logs and exponents are inverses of each other, whatever, whatever, okay. <laughs> Example number three. All right, so log base one third, 27 plus log base one third to the one ninth. You got this, uh, you got this. So what are we gonna do? Okay, gather them. They're both the same base, so I can gather the 27 and the one ninth, right? You know, you're like, Miss Manana's so already fractions. Shut up. <laughs> What's one ninth of 27? Or in other words, what is 27 divided by nine? I know you're like, oh, that's, I know what 27 divided by nine is. It's three, yeah. Stop looking at the fraction and thinking it's something crazy. Fractions are just division. 
I'm gonna get off my soapbox now, okay? So log base one third of three equals what? Now, reshaping the question. The question is one third to what power equals three? I need you to visual, close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes, think about one over three. To the power of what equals three? Well, I know three to the first power equals three, but that three is on the bottom, so I have to move it to the top, so that's gonna be a negative one, okay? One third to the negative one equals three. I'm gonna take a break because you, you and I both need a break right now. <laughs> I mean, silly. Is that okay? Are you all right? I think you are. Okay. Next rule. So I have um, a over m. I mean, a over m. A to the power of m over a to the n equals a m minus n. Again, this is something you already know. So I'm gonna attach something you already know to something that we're learning. Okay. Log base a m over n equals log base a m minus log base a n. So again, took it apart. If I could take it apart, I could put it together. If I could take it apart, I could put it together, okay? So the log of a quotient is the log of the dividend minus the log of the divisor. Shoo! Log base five, 100 plus log base five, four, right? So, or minus log base five, 100 minus log base five, four equals log base five, 100 divided by four, okay? So what's 100 divided by four? I know that, that is 25. So rephrasing the question, five to what power equals 25? You know this, uh, okay? Duh, two, five squared equals 25. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's coming together, it's coming together. Um, log base seven, 49, minus log base seven of seven. Okay, so we're gonna bring it together. So because it's a minus, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do, um, 49 divided by 7 and you know the answer to that it's 7 so 7 to what power equals 7 7 to the first power you got this you good you know what's up okay last rule I think um, log base B a to the power of P equals okay so basically what this rule is saying is if you have a log and there's an exponent you're gonna bring that exponent to the front and make it multiplication, okay? So what's that look like with numbers? I'm gonna go, we're going on a journey. Can you, can you come with me? <laughs> so let's say I have log 10 cubed. What's the base there? The base is 10 because there's no number there. So that's a common log. So log base 10 of 10 cubed. Um, 10 cubed is the same thing as 10,000. No, 1,000. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Hold on a second. I've been messing up my powers of 10. Where's my calculator? Tandy, dandy. Ooh, calculator. 10 cubed. Yeah, 1,000. Right. Excuse me. I had a moment. I had a panic. Okay, so 10 cubed is 1,000, right? So, um, so what I know is log base 10. So 10 to the power of what equals 1,000? That's the real question here. 10 to the power of what equals 1,000? Well, the answer to that is going to be 3. So we're going to do this using the rule that we're learning right now, though, okay? So the rule tells me that I'm going to take that 3, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in front. So I'm going to evaluate just log 10, 10. So log base 10 of 10. So the blue and the purple part, right? Um, log base 10 of 10, because there's no number there, so I know the base is 10. Well, log base 10 of 10 equals 1, because 10 to what power equals 10? 1, right? So that's going to be 3 times one, which is still three. So the rule works, right? That's basically what I'm saying. Um, some of y'all are like, oh, this lady, I'm lost. It's okay, it'll make sense. Okay, so let's say you have log base two, 32 to the six. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that six and I'm gonna put it in front, right? So I'm gonna say six times log base two of 32. What I'm gonna evaluate is just the log base two of 32 first, right? So two to the power of what equals 32? That's the question that you need to ask yourself. Two to the power of what? So two to the fifth power equals 32 so that whole answer inside the bracket is going to turn into five so i have that six on the outside still so i'm going to do six times five and that's going to give me um 30. yay the question that you asked yourself was two to the what power equals 32. that's what gave me five okay um example number two log base eight of four to the 20th what am i going to do with that 20. oh i already put it on the screen what i'm going to move it to the front um and then i'm just going to evaluate the log base eight of four so log base eight of four. Okay, this is a really technical, crazy example that they gave us here. Um, okay, the answer is two thirds. You're like, why? I'll get to it in a second. It's not important. 
So the final answer, so once I get the two-thirds on the inside, uh, I multiply that by 20. That was on the outside, so my answer is 40 uh, over 3. Okay, so now you're like, how did you get the two-thirds? Okay, chill. So what I know is I got to figure out, in that bracket, I need to figure out what 8 to the eight to the power of what equals 4. That's the question. But you, like 8 to the first power is 8, so I'm already bigger than 4. So you're thinking, oh, 8 to the 1 half. No, because the, that's the square root of 8. So it's not, it's not going to work like that, okay? Um, so I'm going to rearrange my problem one more time. I'm going to reframe the question one more time um, to make both of those numbers, the 8 and the 4, powers of 2. So I know that 8 is 2 cubed, and then I also know that, that 4 is 2 squared. So you're like, whoa, ma'am, how does this help me? So what I have to ask myself is 2 cubed to the power of what is going to equal 2? And that's 2 thirds because I would multiply the cubed, the 3, times 2 thirds, and then the 3s would cancel out, and I would just get 2. So that's how I know the answer is 2 thirds. <sighs> Half of you are like, I'm done now. <laughs> that's like the most complicated example. Like it even, like when I'm making these, I have the answers, but I like try to go do the problem off to myself just to make sure. Um, and even I was like, it took me a little minute and I was like, oh, 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 oh. This is fine, this is the hardest example. The rest of them don't be that hard. So breathe, it's fine, okay? Uh, but it's like a little puzzle, it should be fun, maybe. Anyway, <laughs> so I have log 10 to the fourth, so now there's no base here, so what does that mean, everybody? Good, it's a common log. Yeah, so I'm gonna bring the four out to the front, okay? I'm gonna just deal with the log base 10 of 10. So 10 to the what power equals 10? Well, 10 to the first power equals 10, so that answer equals one, so four times one is four. Okay, the question that I asked myself was 10 to the what power equals 10. That's how I got the one. Okay, um, log base 5 of 25 squared. What am I going to do with the little squared? Oh, are you getting it? Good, you're going to bring it out front. Um, oop, boop. And then so when we bring it out front, we just deal with the log base 5 of 25. So the question is, see if you can figure out the question without my help. Good, the question is five to the power of what equals 25? The answer is two, so two times two is four. Oh my gosh, both of those questions were equal to four. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> five squared equals 25. That's how I got that, that blue answer. Okay, inverse properties, I lied, that wasn't the last rule. Um, we still have inverse properties to talk about. So inverse properties basically are like how I cancel stuff out. So you know how multiplication cancels out division, subtraction cancels out multiplication, um, a square root cancels out a square, like, this is where we're going here. So if I have log base B of B, the B's cancel each other out, what's left is the X. That's the simplest way that I can say that, okay? Um, log base 10 of 10 to the seven, the 10's cancel each other out, so what's left is a seven. Easiest way for me to explain that. The other version is if I have a big B, that's my base to the power of log base B, still the B's cancel each other out, X is what's left. So if I have two, is my big number log base two, twos and twos cancel each other out, 0 0.3 is my answer. It's gonna be easy. So I have log base three of three to the 11th. What are those two threes? The simplest way that I can say that, the three and the three cancel out, what's my answer? So this is what you focused on. You're focused on that three and that three, right? Cancels out, 11 is my answer. So for number two, I have log base three of 81. So you're like, but I don't have two threes, Miss B. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to figure out how you can get 81 to be a three. And you're like, you done lost me. Okay, so three to the power of what equals 81? That's the question. Remember, we're, all, we're playing a game here. We're like, how do I get this to be the way that I want it so that I can use the rules that I want? That's, that's all we're doing here, okay? So three to the fourth power equals 81. So I'm just gonna rewrite my problem. So now I have a big three, a little three, and what happens is I can swipe them out. My answer is just gonna be, boom, four. Okay, that was a lot. Uh, I have a big five and a little five, so my, I'm Gucci. My answer is 10. Hey, look at us. Okay, um, example four and five. I don't know, I need a, I need a, yeah. Um, I have a big 10 and a little 10. I love when that happens. Swipe those out, 0 0.9 is my answer. Um, and then I have a big two and a little two. Swipe those out, my answer is 8x. Yes, that can be your answer. Just because I was variable doesn't mean you need to freak out, okay? Whew. It's a little, I know, it's a lot, it's a lot, okay? So change of base. So um, if you can't simplify a log as it is, you can change the base using this formula. So log base B of X equals log base A of X over log base A of B. So A is the new base that you want it to be in. 
Um, because sometimes you can't figure your problems out the way that you want them to be. So let's say you have log base four of eight. So I'm gonna change, because I know four and eight can both be twos, I'm going to change four and eight to be in a base of two. So this would have helped us in that complicated problem that we did um, a little bit ago, okay? So why does that help us? Well, it helps us because I'm gonna say log base two of two thirds and then log base two of two squared, right? Because eight is two, thir two thirds. Two cubed <laughs> and then two squared. So what happens is I have a little two and a big two and we, we just learned that those can swipe out and when they swipe out, um, when they swipe out, I'm left with just the exponents. So swipe, swipe or cancel out, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so my answer is gonna be three over two. That would've helped us a moment ago when we were doing that really hard problem, okay? So this is another way to approach that problem. Um, so let's say that I have log base 32 of eight. What I know is that log base 32 and eight, 32 and eight can both be expressed in powers of two, right? Because eight is two cubed and then 32 is two to the fifth power. So I'm going to change them to be base twos. So log base two, eight, and then log base two, 32. The big number goes on top, the little number goes on the bottom, and then your base is whatever uh, base you feel is best. Um, so in this case, we used two. So then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna change them to power, so two cubed and then two to the fifth. And wh what I know is when I have a little two and I have a big two, what happens is that they cancel each other out, boom, cancel each other out, boom, so my answer is gonna be three fifths. Voila, okay? Um, I like those, they're fun, they're like little puzzles. <laughs> Y'all are like, no ma'am. Um, so let's do log base nine of 27. So I gotta think to myself, nine and 27 can both be expressed at, as what types of numbers? They can both be expressed as powers of three. Right, so that's how I choose my base, log base three. So 27 is three cubed, and then nine is three squared. So log base three of three cancels each other out. Log base three of three cancels each other out. So three over two is gonna be my answer. I like these, they're fun. <laughs> okay, so let's do log base eight of 16. So what number could I use to get eight and 16 to be in the same base? Cause you know, it's all about that base. Um, so that's gonna be, think about it to yourself. I don't wanna spoil it. Eight and 16. Don't say four, cause four squared is 16, but four to the power of what is eight? You don't even know. <laughs> What's my base gonna be? It's gonna be two. Why? Because 16 is two to the power of four, good. And then eight is two to the power of Three. You see, your brain is using like a different part. You're like, we're not doing addition. We're not doing, you know, um, multiplication. We're doing powers. It's different. It's different. Um, okay, so I'm going to swipe out big and little, big and little. My answer is going to be four thirds. Yay. Um, example number four, log base four of 27. So what number could you get four and 27 to be? Like two, four is two squared, but 27 that's not even an even number, so it can't be two to the power of anything. It could be 27. So, but 27 is three cubed, but four, you can't make four cubed. Ooh, Miss B, what, what, what? What if you can't get the numbers in the same base? Well, I'm glad you asked. You change it to common log, okay? So common log is base 10. So I would say log 10, 27, big number on top, log 10, um, small number on the bottom, okay? And you get to use the calculator. Yay! So use when you can't get the numbers to be the same, use the cal use the common log and use the calculator, okay? Um, so basically I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type that into the calculator. I'm gonna use my log button, which you should have learned to use. Um, last lesson, and you would do log 27. You don't need to put a little 10 there because the calculator only works in common log. And then over log four, and then I just press equal. It's gonna give me a really uh, ugly number, but that's fine. We're fine with ugly numbers, okay? I'm going to uh, round to the nearest hundredths place. So I'm gonna say 2.38 because that second seven rounds the seven up to an eight. Easy, we're easy. Um, okay, slide 22 out of 23. Look at us, we're almost done. So let's say I have log base five of 16. I can't get five and 16 to be the same base. Um, 16 is two to the fourth power, but that doesn't help me with the five, right? So we're gonna use the common log and the calculator, like just like we just did. So log base 10 of 16 and then log base 10 of five. Again, common logs, you don't need the little 10, but I just put it there so that you guys, you know, you're here with me. All right, um, so then I put, that, I put that straight into the calculator, just like that. So log 16, and then I'm going to divide, and I'm going to do log five on the bottom. Um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to do. <laughs> so then once I do that, um, I get 
0.72, I round to the nearest hundredths place, whatever I tell you to round to or your teacher tells you to round to, it's fine, okay? Um, and then of course, one more, I'm gonna have you do this one by yourself, so take out your calculator um, and try that one on yourself. Oh wait, do, 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 Log base 10 6 divided by log base 10 over 11. Um, and I'm going to get a really ugly number that I'm going to go ahead and divide. I mean, not divide, uh, round to the nearest hundredths place. Oh, did I make a mistake and I had to start over? Wow. <sighs> oh my gosh, Esther, just the time. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. 0 0.75 because round to the nearest hundredths place. Uh, hundredths place, the 7 tells the 4 to go up to the 5. That was a lot. That lesson was a lot for me. That was the second one that I recorded today, so I'm tired a little bit, you know? So maybe that's why my energy isn't where it should be. But guys, what am I going to tell you to do? Go back through the video. See if you can get the answers without my help. I'm glad you know the tagline, okay? And then if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!